we're, we're going down the right path. Okay, so we'll record this presentation part and I'll put this up on our YouTube page. And then if you'd like me to come to your market center or zoom in, if you're out of our region, I'll be happy to do that. Okay, so just let me know when I pull this up, if you can see my screen. Can everyone see my screen okay? Okay, fantastic. Okay, so we've already kind of talked about this. How do we leverage style to design to win opportunities? Obviously the three L's, if you follow the MREA, we do an MREA book club every week. It's on Thursday, you can join us at 3 p.m. It's for everyone. We always talk about leads, listings and leverage and we're just partnering uh, with style to design to create again, a, a lead generating mechanism that is alongside of our staging and our MREA business. Um, obviously, why? <laughs> the why behind staging, because 81% of people, you know, obviously, they need to see things. This is why builders go in and they create um, a beautiful model home accessorized so that people can envision themselves in the space. So um, we, we never call uh, homes dated when we're in front of a seller. So we'll, we'll call them original. So we'll say, I see that you have the original kitchen in your home. And in some cases, you know, they might feel like we're being a little bit judgmental in some cases. And so we don't want to call it dated. We don't want to say that it's something that um, most buyers wouldn't like. We just want to say that we want to appeal to the most buyers. And we see that there is uh, your property has original tile, original kitchen uh, fixtures, appliances, countertops, cabinets, whatever that might be. So obviously there's a lot of cases where you're going to run into this and we actually can do simulation if they're not wanting to do a renovation, but we also have a renovation company. So we can get this quoted out to show them the before and after of what that kitchen might look like for the future, or we can sell those um, design boards to the actual buyer or buyer's agent. And then that relieves the buyer's agent of having to cover all those objections. And we can also get a quote. So there's a couple different pieces where we will stage a home. We can just accessorize a home, or we can do the simulation of what something would look like before and after. And then we also have the renovation company that can actually do the work before we list, or we can have a rendering in the kitchen and then the simulation before and after in multiple listing service. So this would be an example of showing uh, before and after. So this would be an original kitchen. And then we can have it simulated to look like a more modern or contemporary style kitchen. It could be farmhouse, it could be traditional, it could be transitional, it could be uh, very contemporary, whatever the style might be that you see the buyers are looking for in that particular condominium complex, that particular neighborhood of single family homes. And it's usually within 48 to 72 hours. You might have some photographers that are able to do this. You can also go into Canva and create a slideshow video for social media and repurpose that content. And then always make sure you check with your multiple listing service to disclose that this is a renovation simulation. So it's similar to what you might've used for uh, staging, you know, uh, virtual staging. So we can also do what's called reality staging, but this would be an example of a real or a virtual, um, excuse me, a reality renovation simulation. All of these hard finishes, we have design boards. So if we have, uh, excuse me, there's a couple of people I'm trying to admit. So if you see me look up at the top, I'm just admitting more guests. The hard finishes you see here, we have design boards and there's different design boards that Style Design actually uh, has a group of designers that creates every single week. And so we can create custom boards by interchanging some of these hard finishes. For instance, if someone did not like this farmhouse style of sink, we could swap that out or this faucet, for example, um, maybe we could change the colors. Maybe they wanted all black hardware, which is a trending uh, style I see right now. Then we can actually customize those boards and not just use what those designers had selected, or we can just create our own from scratch design board in Canva. That might take a little bit more time. So there might be some design hours in that. This is also really good for staying in touch with your database. If you have previously sold a home, to a buyer and they talked about some of the renovations they wanted to do for the home. Even if you don't have a renovation company, I'm quite sure you've partnered or you know some GCs or people, maybe some builders that do renovations you've actually wanted to be in business with. This would be a great way to not only 
earn the right to be in front of them to gain their business, but also help someone in your database get at a great price. Now we will oversee the entire renovation process, but we have different GCs that we use. So we're not the actual general contractor with our renovation company. So there's some options that, you know, you can grow this out and scale this at a super high level later, or you can, again, just partner with some local uh, typical B2B relationships. Any questions so far? Okay, I'll check the chat real fast. Okay, I don't see anything in there. So this will be an example of just an owner suite before and after, after with their reality staged. So maybe they have pets in the home and um, you're not wanting to put your inventory in there. There might be, you know, it's a fully lived in home. So you might want to offer this as something that will show a, a more contemporary look or a more modern look or, you know, a, a design specific to their home. Let's say it's super traditional. And for some reason in your area, traditional is not selling at a high rate, specifically in that neighborhood. Then I would always recommend something that's transitional, which will kind of mix that contemporary and traditional look, but appeal to more people and help get more showings. And then of course that would hopefully get you more offers. So this is the design board that was used in order to create the before and after of the reality staged photos. The other thing that um, Heather and I have talked about a lot is what you put out is what you attract. So if you're putting out these, your listings are your resume. So if you're putting out this as your listing, this might be what you are attracting in the future. So this is going to attract uh, different types of sellers that are going to want to list with you. And this is what you would probably want to show that your team markets this type of photography, even in a real staged home. So the idea is to hopefully do a full stage, but there might not be an opportunity again, if they have several uh, pets in the home or you have a full family and that home's really lived in, you know, you might not be wanting to put your inventory in there or maybe they don't want the responsibility of it. This would show, this is showing you images in the MLS. Uh, this would be a before and after again, um, simulated renovation. So it's a reality renovation. Again, there's uh, several designs coming out each week. There's over 1,500 design boards and staging and renovation accessory boards. Um, sometimes you're just doing an accessory stage, so you would just use a specific accessory design board. Again, you can kind of interchange some of these uh, little links here. These are all linked to different products, so it makes it very easy. Before I had partnered with Style to Design, I was actually ordering all of these things and creating these, these mood boards on my own from scratch, or I had to wait on my designer from our interior design company. And for her, um, she would have to charge per hour. And of course she does a lot of custom design. So it wasn't really uh, a big profit margin for her, or it wasn't a big profit opportunity for her to do these staging mood boards. And so now we've been able to increase that profit margin by scaling it and doing this at a much faster rate. Again, this is just an ex example of one of those uh, design mood boards. This will be an example if you just did an accessory stage. And again, there's several different accessory stage staging boards that you can choose from, or you can kind of interchange these links in Canva. It's very simple to do. Someone in your operations could do it if they have an eye for aesthetics or design. This would be an example of hard finishes and maybe an owner suite bathroom. Um, so we use it to win listing opportunities, especially if the homes are, you know, original homes, maybe they're 10 to 20 years old. Um, we can also help the sellers before they list and there's different options. Uh, we, we will take a deposit up front in some cases, we've even financed the deal, charged interest if there's a, a situation where they do not have the funds up front. And again, these are all separate agreements and we, we have a separate staging agreement, a separate renovation agreement. And then again, it depends on if you're partnering with a builder or a specific GC, or you're doing that renovation yourself. And then we also help buyers with renovation ideas. So 
Uh, there are even investors. Uh, Tabitha, I'll touch on that a little bit. You seem to have some interest with that as well for builders that are building spec homes. We have a lot of builders building spec homes in an area called Northport or near Welland Park, which is Venice Northport area, South Sarasota County where we live. So we've been able to even sell the boards to them if they wanna go ahead and have their subcontractors put in these hard finishes and you can kind of scale how you're gonna uh, sell the boards. Maybe it's three to five rooms for a package price. Airbnb has been a big trend and in Charlotte County, we have uh, very flexible rental ordinances and also in Manatee County, very flexible rental ordinances. So we've been able to help investors get a higher rate of return for their short-term rentals because some of their furniture had kind of what we say is aged out. And so they want to either replace those items and it's, you know, my time is money with investors. We would offer to sell the boards to them or if they're not local, if this is a, a home that they also use from time to time and rent out short term when they're not here, we would go ahead and accept the delivery on their behalf and actually place all the items where they need to go based on some of the boards that, that we selected together. Sometimes they want to be a little bit more hands on, other times they don't. So you can create a, a profit center for your business through the vendor referral relationships if you do not own the companies that will be doing some of the work. And then again, assist the investors with a renovation on a flip, a short-term investment, a builder with a spec home, or it could be a builder that's building out even track-built homes. Doesn't necessarily have to be a spec home. You could offer to furnish uh, for a lot less than a designer would charge one of their homes to make it into a model home and create a lease back opportunity for an investor. And then again, you can work with as a builder in-house design center. And then, of course, this also helps with for sale by owners and expired listings. We've done some uh, investing in renovating or doing a simulation renovation before and after photo or video and sent that to a for sale by owner or expired listing sellers that maybe this hasn't been brought up to them and that can help you win the appointment or during your pre-listing process that can kind of wow them and what another agent may or may not have been able to share with them. Um, so we talked about the simulation boards, uh, buyers when they're even just a traditional buyer and you're representing them or someone on your team represents the buyers, you can offer to help furnish the home. For us, particularly in Florida, a lot of people are not bringing their furniture from up north or maybe they don't want to. It's very expensive to move the items. A lot of it's a little bit more traditional in style. So they're, they're furnishing their new homes. I have two buyers building in Lakewood Ranch right now where they're spending, you know, two and a half million on the home and they're going to have to furnish this from scratch and they prefer not to bring things down from their home up north. So we're offering to assist in that process and that's going to save them a lot of money uh, comparatively speaking for what an interior designer would typically charge them because we have a group of designers working on these boards each week. And again, if you want to customize them, you can kind of charge for your design time if you have a design company. And then again, those Airbnbs and uh, vacation rentals, this is really good for them to increase their profit. We own a property management company. So this is helpful for our existing clients that already are in our investor pool. And we've seen that some of the rental rates have changed, right? They were super high, COVID drove them up. They're still great in Florida, uh, along with many other different ways to create uh, flipped home opportunities here. But what they're seeing is that the homes are not flipping as fast or they are not able to rent the homes for what they were getting cash flow wise before. And so now they're looking for ways to increase that cash flow. And one opportunity is to uh, create a different design aesthetic inside that Airbnb. And then again, we talked about winning uh, opportunities with builders. We do have a whole nother uh, presentation. I'm doing a new construction class. It's a 102 class, September 5th. I can get you the times on those if you'd like to learn a little bit more about how to partner with builders. We've sold small subdivisions and represented the developers, and it's an interesting way in which you can create profit for your team. You're getting paid on the home site uh, from the developer, and then when you go and find the builder for the developer and you vet the builder, we had to go through a lot of their financials to make sure they were financially able uh, to finish out the neighborhood because this developer in this case had a, a bad experience with previous builder. We then formed a relationship with that particular builder and what they were paying their designer 
um, was not exactly you know, the best way in which they could serve their clients. Plus the designer was working 24 seven and they appreciated some of the leverage by partnering with us. So we weren't replacing anyone in that case. We were just helping them go ahead and furnish and create model homes so that we could sell more inventory. And then that designer would get more business and have a little bit of leverage in that case. So this is uh, what the back end looks like. We do have a website I can share with you where a lot of the consumers can even preview some of these design boards. And again, it's kind of a lead capturing system to where we're now running ads for people that maybe have not been able to sell their home or thinking of selling their home. And we want to add a different value proposition. There's also a marketing program. So if you're, uh, if you don't have an in-house marketing person, the uh, style to design will actually create some of your social media collateral and repurpose that content for you to uh, get some leads through that. Uh, there's listing inserts. We use postcards with mofers, uh, make offer for immediate response on them. We have farming letters, uh, social media. If you follow our social media or you follow, their, follow another ambassador or Heather's uh, team, the Kane team, the Kane real estate team in Naples, you'll see on her social media, there's a lot of heavy content around staging luxury homes. And then of course there's brochures and uh, door hangers, uh, there's all different types of collateral that can be customized to your specific brand. This is what the branded website looks like. So um, again, it can be branded to your team. We recently uh, just started advertising this through some ads in command. And then um, you're welcome to scan this for a live demo with style to design. And that's all I have for you. So that's Kind of in a brief <laughs> synopsis, how we leverage our staging company style to design partnership to gain more listings and also help sellers get a higher uh, proceeds for their for their home. Any questions, any ahas, anything you want to ask? We're right at the halfway mark here. I have a question. How does this program kind of work? Is this a membership based setup? Is it something that's just accessible partnership wise? Yeah. So there's different uh, ways in which you can partner with them. Um, for me, uh, I think that the market center level is always a great opportunity because you get more seats, which means you get more subscriptions, if you will. So I'd be happy to uh, speak with someone on your market center or speak with you directly on the different options. Okay. Yep, I'll put my contact information in here, but there are different options. Your your team can also do a subscription or you can be an individual agent. We have a lot of individual agents that it's just uh, one subscription. So I'd be happy to send you some information on that and speak with you one-on-one. -on -one. So I will put my contact information in here. I think most of you have it, but I'll put it in here again. And I'll put my direct cell phone. Texting is usually the best way. And um, I'm sorry, I didn't see who asked that question. David Coker out of Winter Park. Winter Park, okay, great. And actually I think someone in your market center has already contacted me to do a presentation. Um, again, I did this one kind of fast just to give you all a little brief synopsis and let you ask questions so we could have a little bit more of a mastermind around it. Um, so I don't know if that one will be Zoom in Winter Park if, or if I'll be doing it in person. I'll, I'll let you know as soon as I get more details about that because you're in my region. Okay, thank you. My pleasure. Do you think this would help you get more listings or, or have you, again, thought about kind of helping your sellers with some staging consultations as a value proposition? So. Yeah, kind of both. Um, the property you're looking at right now in my picture is one that I went to the website and saw that slider of, you know, how they can change the color. And, you know, we've done yeah. probably 60 plus showings on this listing. And I would say 46 of them wanted to paint the house. <laughs> so if I could yeah. digitally or virtually paint the house and just showcase what that could look like and give that potential, um, because it's also the same color on the inside with some dark reds and so it's just a very dark home now we were actually under contract unfortunately the buyer fell through so 
We had okay. three buyers out of 60 that loved the color. But again, it's much more appealing if we had somebody that, you know, was looking at it to the masses, not just appealing to those two or three people that did like it. Um, so yeah, this is definitely something that could work for, for myself with these types of listings. Cause I do expire. You had mentioned a lot of expired. Most of my listings are expired. Usually they expire okay. price or because they're just so unique like this one that it makes it a lot more difficult to sell them. And so that's where a lot of these come in, where if I can showcase to the buyers, you know, put a vision board up in each room, like you were talking about, of uh, here's what the potential could look like. Cause not every buyer, you know, they might have the money and the means, but they don't have the vision and they can't see for themselves what the yeah. potential could look like. And a house like this has an immense amount of potential, um, even if it's something that it's not the design currently what they are wanting and looking for, but I can show them what their future design could look like and how to take this exact home and you know modernizing it, bringing it to this century. Yeah, 100%. We just had to do that with a condo. Um, we heard from it was expired it was also a repeat client he wanted to try another uh, company and um so his uh son works at a different company and anyway we, we got him into the business long story short they're now listed back with us and uh they had made a, a comment on the feedback being that the kitchen was um dated and they said well it's original so let's look at some options here we did the before and after uh, simulation, but interestingly enough at the broker event, when people came and they actually saw the kitchen in person, people thought it was in great condition and the functionality of the kitchen was really well and we had no feedback on it being dated, but the simulation of before and after got them in the property. So it's kind of hard for them to even see um, whether or not it's something they would want to change unless you physically get them inside the property. And again, the feedback was complete opposite of what we had before, but those people were giving verbal feedback based off of some ph photography that was just flipping through online. So sometimes you have to get them in the property. And again, those renderings where you can put them on a, an easel on a canvas or some sort of sort of board is always really helpful. And a lot of times the buyer's agents, you know, they'll bring a designer and these luxury price points, but the designer is going to charge them sometimes $3,500 to $6,000 per room. So we're, we're certainly not charging that. And then on top of that, the furniture, that's just the design hours and the design average that we've seen it. And in some areas, it's even higher than that. So it can be a huge value proposition also to the buyer's agent. So we're helping them also increase their business and help them with something. And who knows, maybe you'll attract some talent to your team or, you know, build your profit share with your market center if you're participating in profit share like I am. So there's just so many different conversations. I mean, our job is to, you know, real estate's a contact sport, as Gary says. And when we're making connections and we're building these connections with other agents with other independent brokerages that maybe don't have access to these things. Um, we're, we're building a relationship and you never know where that's going to turn versus just hoping that a buyer's agent is going to bring a buyer, right? We're, we're helping them get the buyers in the door and then covering those objections for them. So they appreciate it as well. And they look at you as an expert and a professional in the luxury industry. Uh, do you want to see any more examples of the before and after or anything else you want to touch on before we move on? Are you all exhausted from Megacamp? Camp? You're so quiet today. Okay, so what I'd like to do next is just share with you a couple of tips regarding builders because Tabitha, I know you work in an area where there's a lot of people. So I'll just give you a few little tips on that and with some investors as well. So give me just a minute. Okay, so this is something that I've shared with my property manager and uh, some of the investor clients that we've worked with in the past. 
Um, again, I'm not going to go through the whole presentation, just an essence of time. I hate it when, you know, we're just kind of reading from a PowerPoint. So I just want to share with you a couple of ideas. But basically, in a nutshell, you would want to do, uh, you would want to offer a, a consultation with a buyer. You can offer this uh, for the builder on the builder's behalf to select hard finishes. How many of you have been kind of stuck going to the design center in some cases, and half the time they don't offer the things that your your buyer wants, or maybe they just want to put the bare minimum into a track built home, and then you're helping them after the fact. But you maybe it's just uh, you know your sheer goodwill <laughs> to have the relationship with the buyer. These are some tools that will help you um, help them at a higher level. It also can help increase margins because you're pre-selecting certain designs for builders that maybe don't have access to uh, specific trade accounts at a super high level. So um, if you're establishing some trade accounts, you can swap out designs and, or use the builder trade accounts. And then again, you have a, a 45 minute consultation you can offer with the buyer for any soft finishes. And then you can help design builder spec homes. So in some cases, uh, Tabitha, like for instance, in Northport, it's less track builders um, outside of Welland Park area. That's specific to a, the plan unit development area. But there are a lot of builders that buy home sites individually, or they'll go and buy, you know, 10 in a zip code area of Northport and start building them one at a time, or maybe two or three at a time, depending on their budget or how they're being funded. But you can help them uh, furnish and pick out those hard finishes and soft finishes, and you can create an additional profit, help them establish a different profit, and, and same for you. So again, the hard finishes would just be like cabinetry, lighting, uh, bathroom, vanities, and then any light finishes would be furniture, accessories, things that uh, most of you probably already have an eye for or you know what the buyer is looking for. So you're helping to guide the builder, put in things that are not going to attract the buyers in the masses, which again, is not going to get them the offer that they want or the highest price they want. Um, so these are just, again, some of the examples of the different boards or what might be trending and things might be trending differently in California or in desert areas than they are in Florida. So if some of you are on different calls, you know, you might see some trends coming through that vary from what we have in our current areas. So it's always a good idea to meet with designers, go into showrooms. Um, I own a commercial building and I had a lot of tenants looking to uh, release the space next to where my design company is. And I basically partnered with the best tenant for also our business. It wasn't just the price that they offered for cash flow purposes. Um, they have a design furniture business. And so we have an architect, we have our design company and repair and remodel company in the middle where we occupy. And so I've leased out to an architect and now I've leased out to a design furniture custom furniture company that's moved here from Miami. So it's a perfect synergy. So if you're not in a position to be neighboring them or you're not sure where they're located, good old fashioned Google search is great. And you can add those to command as a separate segment to uh, people that you want to get into relationship with. And then you can figure out how you can partner with them. Uh, I think someone has, David, you have your hand raised. You have a question? Yeah, I was just curious. So, you know, utilizing this program or corporation, um, does that allow us to use the same software? Is it like a plug and play? Do we upload, you know, images? Is it someone that's doing it for us as far as, you know, changing that's, the design? Yeah, that's the beauty of this. Um, I was doing this all kind of manually, <laughs> manual labor, or I had someone in my operations doing it and it's very time consuming. So um, there's over 1500 boards. So that would be your um, boards you see like this here for renovation. It would be staging boards specific to staging. And then you have what's called accessory boards. So if you're just accessorizing a home, which for instance would be maybe changing over the bedding in a room that makes a big difference and it's very inexpensive. Maybe they have nice furniture, but it's just uh, their particular style is not going to appeal to the masses and how they live in a home and how you sell a home are two different things. So you would be putting lamps, artwork. Um, some people just don't have greenery in the space. So sometimes there's a feng shui issue. Um, I'm, I'm, I've been asked to do a feng shui class. I'll probably do a, a kind of brief tips and tricks on feng shui because I'm not an actual certified instructor. I'm just a certified expert as a feng shui uh, realtor, but I'm happy to 
maybe offer some tips and trips, tips and tricks as a realtor, but I'm not a certified instructor. So I could bring an instructor into our region for that or our market center if someone would like. But um, yeah, these are done for you. Now, when you want to do a custom board, yes, you would have to do that through Canva, but it's very easy to do because for instance, say you didn't want uh, this countertop, you might switch out a different color or uh, these bar stools, these lighting fixtures. There's a lot of things that you can do that you can easily swap things out. I've actually used this same system for design ideas because I recently purchased a home about a year and a half ago that has an 1800 square foot barn on the property. And so I've visited different people's properties. I've gone on Pinterest and I've wanted to get some ideas and I've actually put together custom boards specific for my, my own property and our kitchen, because our kitchen is original. <laughs> it's when we bought the house, it was 20 years old, but we wanted the, the style of home. It's a farmhouse. And we knew there was potential for value add with the 1800 square foot barn. If we built that out and air conditioned it and it was on six acres. So it was in the neighborhood we wanted the location we wanted, but we knew we had to do some of the renovations. And I was less overwhelmed, even though we do this every day and I own the company, um, or companies that can help with this, I was less overwhelmed because I had more tools and resources to uh, not spend so much time, right, in my spare time working on my own project. Does that help answer your question, David? I hope I did. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, Tabitha says, yes, please. Was that for the uh, feng shui class? Feng shui class, please. Yes. <laughs> okay, got it. All right. I guess that means I'll do it in our market center and then uh, I'll put together that you give me feedback on the content and then we'll bring it, you know, to a regional maybe <laughs> level. Um, so this is just basically, again, showing the builders how you can help them um, with their margins, having those pre-selected uh, designs. So instead of charging the buyer you know, $7.95 uh, per square foot, you, it might be $9.54 and making a soft extra $1.59. So um, most builders have a margin increase of 20%. So you can, you know, offer whatever you think you're going to be able to help them with. Again, you might know your area, your builders, what their profit margins are. It might be some, um, what we say is a uh, kind of guerrilla warfare, <laughs> like figure out who your competitors are, figure out what they're charging, figure out uh, what the builder's profit looks like and how you might be able to add some value to that. And then these are, again, the soft finishes. So these will be examples of some of the boards for soft finishes, David. Uh, and there's there's a, a lot of different options. Do you wanna kind of see what the back end looks like since we have a few more minutes and then we'll just save a few minutes for the mega camp ahas? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me get logged in. Because I was I curious sure too. Like, time to do this. I went on your website and just on the main page under the about us, there's that drag slider where they have the before and after of the outside of the house. Mm -hmm. um, where it was, you know, again, like my listing, yellow on the outside, and then it went to the white modern. So how that works. Yeah. So what's interesting is even I've had people that didn't like the roof color of a home. Like, as a matter of fact, like I didn't like the roof color of the house I'm sitting in, which is the house we recently purchased. Luckily, we found out um, when we made the offer that they were already contracted to put a new roof on it. It was more of a charcoal kind of dark gray. So we didn't have to change it. But it was this green that matched these green shutters. And again, I don't mind the green shutters because it's farmhouse. Um, some people would do more of a blue, but that's an easy fix, right? The shutters, the roof is a big kind of capital improvement. So of course you can hopefully get your, your tax benefit with that, speak to your accountant on it. But um, they were already in process to do that. But let's say a seller isn't, that's something you could show them that, hey, you can easily change the color of this roof or uh, shutters or the paint color of the house, whatever the case is. I had a buyer that... And I can tell you from a buyer agent perspective, when I was many years ago, very heavy in the field as a buyer's agent, because it was like 2008, 2009, and the market was very different. Um, I had a client who was very particular, um, very humble, but very wealthy, but she was very, still very particular about the home. This was going to be her seventh or eighth home. So she owned a ton of real estate all over the world, but she refused to look at this really good deal. And let me tell you, in 2008, 2009, I got a lot of buyers good deals. I, I really miss those times. But she re almost refused to look at the home because it was this awful brown color. 
So her husband was in commercial real estate. So he, he was very savvy in real estate, even though she owned a lot of real estate, she just couldn't get past the color of that home. So being that he was in commercial real estate, he was looking at the opportunity of what that property was eventually going to sell for someday. I mean, he was thinking very future and looking at the present value and then, you know, trying to figure out the, the future value. So we eventually convinced her to go buy the home. She got a really good deal. I resold it most recently. I think about, I mean, about three years ago, she did buy a new construction home after uh, she sold that home and she made a great profit. Now she would have missed out on a really big opportunity if she would have got hung up on that. So it is our job to sometimes just say, humor me, come look at this home. If you hate it, fine, but let's just, let's just take a look at it. And sometimes having a picture is going to help you with your, your listing, get those buyer's agents there. Okay. So this is the back end, And again, this is the more internal, what things look like. There's a consumer facing one that's more for lead generation. Um, but this is what you would be utilizing. So this is what's considered your dashboard. So this would be your staging boards, your reality home staging, your reality home renovations. This is funny. This is actually my listing. So they used one of my listings as an example. This is in Fort Myers. I have an extension partner down there. So uh, you can kind of drag these across and see the before and after. A really big difference there. And again, it's 24 to 72 hours. And then this would be an example of a original bathroom before and after. Can you still, still see my screen okay? Because I'm kind of flipping back and forth. Um, and this would be your training and your resources. So today there's actually a mastermind at 2 p.m. So uh, you can jump on the masterminds. They are all recorded and then there's workshops and then there's different forms. So I actually updated some of my contractor agreements. And then I also up updated some of my staging agreements because there were things that perhaps I might not have run into that I wanted to modify. And then of course had our attorney review them because these are attorney written. So you, you don't want to modify them yourself. You want to have your attorney modify them for your specific use. So there's a little calendar here of any events or training, and then there's marketing. So I, I have an in-house marketing director, but if you don't, then you would want to maybe utilize their marketing services. We just use the templates and some of the uh, social media collateral that they've already created to save time. And then my marketing director will use AI to help maybe uh, have a better message or way in which they want to attract sellers or buyers, depending on the intent of that. And again, you can upload them to command and run some marketing campaign ads. And then you have some other marketing package material. It could be, again, a listing insert, your postcards. So it's just really plug and play. You're just, you can have it all branded to you. And then of course you have support. And then this is your custom white label page. So we were actually in the middle of building this huge staging website, which was going to cost money. And we just decided, you know what, let's put the brakes on this since we partnered with Style Design and we knew that this was coming. So this is relatively new and it just saved us uh, so much time. So if you go into the, for instance, we'll just use staging. I'm not going to go through all of these because we only have a few minutes left, but there's non-luxury, luxury, and then there's the accessory boards mentioned before, the renovations, and then uh, future designer boards. The luxury might be something, since you're on a luxury mastermind, that you can take a look at. So this would be more like restoration hardware. Um, on the non-luxury, it might be more Wayfair, Target, Amazon type of product. And so this would be an example, for instance, uh, my house, I would say, would be a luxury farmhouse. So we can use that as an example. I could get ideas. This is very similar to the flooring that I had already looked at. So it could be, okay, easy for someone to select the flooring, um, any of the furniture. Now, again, let's say somebody didn't like this bedspread. Very easy to change this link in a Canva. So you could download it, upload it into Canva, and very easily modify this, or you could just create your own custom from different links from different boards. So is that helpful? Yes, very much so. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Great. Well, I just wanted to share, I had a lot of questions when I was actually at the luxury booth, volunteering as a, a regional luxury ambassador. And I I thought it was really interesting how many luxury agents are 
had already been offering staging and sometimes it was complimentary. So I just asked some questions and thought, you know, have they ever thought about creating, you know, a profit margin out of this or um, maybe taking it to the next level. And in some cases they have actually just hired someone to run and launch this. So I thought maybe they didn't know about how they can partner with style to design. And I'm also ambassador for them. So I thought this is such a great synergy and marriage to be able to collaborate um, or you can just, you know, leverage it out to a stager that you choose to hire. Um, I just didn't find the, the quality or the actual, sorry, this person keeps calling me three times in a row. Um, you might want to, I guess, raise the standards of excellence is what I would say. In some cases, I would hire a stager because I was busy and obviously I didn't have a staging company at that time or I didn't have where I had the company and I, was, I wasn't leveraged with style to design. So I might have to, you know, unfortunately hire another company. Not only was I disappointed with what they were charging for what I got, I didn't actually agree with some of the design aspects. So it just, you know, it helps us elevate our standards and do the best job for the sellers versus just hitting the easy button and saying someone else will do it. And gosh, I hope they do what they say they're going to do. Okay, so we have four minutes left. Do we have any other questions or we'll jump into some ahas from Mega Camp? Anyone wanna start or do you want me to? Let's see, who, who was there that I can call on? David, were you there? I was not this time, no. I'm gonna just get good. you all on a plane. <laughs> all right, well, who's going to family reunion? Does everyone know it's in Vegas? Did you get registered yet? They send out an email, so don't forget, it's gonna be fun. Okay, so let me pull up some of my ahas and I'll share mine and then hopefully you'll be able to add a few. Our next uh, mastermind will be the third Tuesday. We just had to push this one out because we, uh, Dean and I, originally Dean was coming to town, as you all know, we were both at Mega Camp the week of the actual original third Tuesday. So we didn't think people would be attending. We were hoping most people were there. Um, but next month it will be the third Tuesday. It's always at 12 p.m. and that's Eastern Standard Time. So if you're from a different time zone, you uh, just want to mark it in your calendar for that specific time. Okay, so I the CEO Summit was definitely a highlight for me. I also loved uh, the mastery event with team uh, with Tim Tebow. But as far as the general session, I really the most powerful thing for me was when Gary was talking about the happiness over hustling, and it's interesting because we have been talking about this somewhat privately on the back end with some of our own internal masterminds through the luxury community, where we were kind of tired of seeing, you know, all these people in the different industries bragging about like working 24 seven and some of, you know, weren't actually enjoying anything outside of that. And we actually took the opportunity at this mega camp to attend as much as we could. But in the past, we kind of overbooked ourselves and wanted to do everything and we're so stressed out trying to make it to each event. So we were a little bit more strategic and we decided to spend more time with quality of relationships and, and deepening some of the existing relationships we had. And we did plan a lot of things even after hours to where we knew that that evening was dedicated to that. We weren't going to be hopping from one event to the other. And everybody had a much better time and everyone seemed to be more relaxed and happier than ever because they weren't trying to overdo it. You know, they weren't exhausted the next day. So um, I really loved his whole talk on that and how he incorporated it in the same day that he did the market update. Cause I think he knew that he would be able to capture everyone's attention during that time frame. Uh, some other, uh, I think big kind of takeaways for me is the 
how much we're easily distracted. I feel like that's just something that we're battling as a society. So um, when they said many distractions today take us from obsession to interested, you may have to, you may have been obsessed when you started, but then you had some success and coasted or you burn out and became interested. So I loved that one. Um, I also liked the at the CEO summit when he said that some of us aren't hiring killers, right? We're just hiring people because we need someone in that role versus hiring someone that's going to kill it and crush it in that role. Like taking the time. I think it was Ken Posick in our region from Orlando was talking about how many people he meets with before he hires someone on his team. And I want to say he said it was like a minimum of 20 people before he hired even a salesperson on his team. And I thought that was really powerful because he has such great retention um, and great culture on his team. So I thought that was great. And it was also nice to see him back with the company. So it was a pretty, pretty good shout out for North Florida. So good job on uh, bringing him back. Uh, let's see what else. And then of course, I think I'm going to reread Ryan Holiday's book and Molly Bloom's book for sure. Um, I've read the Tim Gr uh, Grover book, the coach for Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant two or three times. So, um, I think I've obsessed about that one enough, but he's always a great speaker. So those are kind of my highlights. Did anyone else have any highlights that attended or read those books? All right. Well, I will try and send those out to everyone that's attended. If you haven't read those books, they're great books. The, the Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan coach, uh, Grover, he, he's really, that's, that was actually a good audio if you don't like to read. So, um, some books on audio, I don't really engage with, but that one was a really good audio. So I'll try and get those out circulated to everyone and maybe, uh, post those on social media. So, Hopefully you're following us at the coffee group and we will see you next month. And uh, for those of you that have not signed up for family reunion, definitely get signed up. It's going to be in Vegas. We'll have a great time. And if you want me to help with any listing presentation classes, or like I like to call them listing consultation classes in your market center around luxury, I'm happy to do that. I can also do a luxury orientation for any of your new members that have earned in and uh, again, I can do a style design demonstration for you so, or presentation. Just give me a call and I put my information in the chat. Everyone have a great week. And for those of you that attend monthly, I'll see you next month.